another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching lost this is the seventh episode of the sixth season hope you guys have been enjoying it so far if you like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just clicking it put the password in and enjoy speak about links in the description we are running our most liked characters throughout the whole entire franchise three votes are allowed as well as the next show onto the channel and those results will be shown in the final episode of this season and we're going to be holding the next show every day full time on the patreon five days a week and weekend breaks on the youtube so hopefully you get excited for what is to come now last episode chaos did arrive at the temple and with the help of claire with the help of saeed lock managed to go in and destroy everybody the person in charge is dead saeed killed him and uh you know it seems now lock has got multiple people on his side they actually went in with the ultimatum pretty much up with the help of saeed after saeed was nearly tricked into killing lock they were told look mate if you still have some good in your heart you know you're trying to convince us that you're not evil then take this blade go and kill the person that's gonna present themselves to you as somebody who is from your past somebody possibly dead before they can even speak take them out do you know what i mean he was basically saying don't talk to them but Locke did arrive and he was the first one he come out of his little no like black mist and he was like hello saeed and then boom stabbed him and then the thing is it didn't actually work Locks managed to actually get him on his side. Basically, he said, what if I could give you something that you really, truly desire? Basically, kind of reminds me of Lucifer. What is it you truly desire? Now, Saeed was crying. He was like, you know, what I truly desire died in my arms. You know what I mean? And we're thinking that it's possibly, um, you know, it's it's possibly Nadia. Because we did see her get run over, didn't we? When Jacob touched him on his shoulder and he ran over and he grabbed her. But also, we've actually seen Shannon die as well. So that's really interesting. Because with Nadia... You know, he's loved her throughout the whole entire show, but in this alternate parallel like universe thing, he technically gave her up for his brother, where on the island he actually fell in love with Shannon, which was pretty quick to be honest, but they did, and then she was obviously taken away by Anna Lucia, so that's crazy, don't know who he's actually talking about, maybe we find out. But also, it seems like James obviously was kind of recruited. What he de did he desire? Well, it was to truly get off the island, wasn't it? And then if we go to Claire, who's actually kind of like infected and taken over prior to us actually seeing this, maybe she was vulnerable, looking for Aaron, and he promised that he would help her retrieve it. And the episode pretty much ended with him going in, killing every single person that was kind of in the temple who decided not to join him. He gave her time, you know what I mean? If you want to be on our side and get off the island, come, you'll be safe. And he stuck to his word. The people that did come were safe. They all left with him and everybody else it looked like pretty much was murdered so mad ending to the last episode thanks for checking out today's if you do enjoy it please smash a like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode is this now in the present Where's Jura? I'm fine, thank you. Where is he? <laughs> Considering that he just killed Dogen, I don't think he's going to be joining us. You said we were safe at the temple. That's what I was told. But what about the beach? Where we buried Locke? Where they lived? At least we'll have the water at our backs and it's familiar territory. Everything oh, here we go. Finally became clear. Elba, where Napoleon faced his greatest test. All right, remember five and six tomorrow. Thank you. I'm going to need you to supervise detention after school today. But we have history club today. Those kids need. There are five students in history club, Linus. They'll live. Thanks for your understanding, Linus. It's Dr. Linus. Excellent. In it, mate. You go study for like 12 years or something to get that title, don't you? Principal Reynolds is an administrator. He's not a teacher. He's forgotten what the public school system is about. Maybe you should be the principal. So says the substitute. This sounds like you care about this place. I appreciate the sentiment, but who's going to listen to me? I'm listening. How would you go around being a principal, like, kind of taking somebody else's job? That thing's what killed her friends back at the statue. And Jacob, right? <laughs> Jacob too. Of course, and Jacob. Of course. Communicate with the dead. I can tell you how someone died, pick up their last thoughts before they check out. It didn't work with Ash though, did it? He said he needs an actual body for it to work properly. How did he die? Linus killed him. Oh, he what? did gas him up. <laughs> That's not true. Well, he was standing over Jacob's dead body with a bloody dagger. Jacob was the closest thing I ever had to a father. Oh, why does she care so much about like who uh -oh. specifically killed him? That was interesting. I thought Miles wasn't actually going to grass him up. But also, Miles in his backstory, you know, when he was trying to communicate with that guy's son, 
said that it would have been better if he had a bother. You know, the reason why he didn't actually connect with him last time, I'm assuming, is because he spread his ashes across the football field. You know what I mean? So that would have been really hard. You know what I'm saying? Here, it was actually, hit, well, with him. But the thing is, it's only a tiny bit of the ashes. And also, you know, is it like grey area? But Ben stabbed him. And as he was bleeding out, Lock kicked him in, in the fire. So it's like a double effort, really, wasn't it? Because... Okay, he was bleeding out, but like if I shoot you and you're dying on the floor and then somebody else comes over and throws you off a building, for example, you both done it. It's like double tap, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? You was two people involved. It's always good to come back home. I said it before with the 100 and I say it again, but like this is where it started. It just feels right. Get to work in some shelter. You know, psychic. Totally unreliable. You make friends easy, don't you? I'm still trying to figure out what these, how they... How it plays into factor with the current story going surely it's got to a little bit i made you one of the turkey meals with the cranberry sauce that you like yet i'm babysitting burnouts and detention the worst of it is i can't help thinking maybe i'm more a loser than any of them this isn't the life i wanted for you ben why i signed up for that damn dharma initiative and took you to the island and imagine how different our lives would have been if we'd stayed where were you today? We had to cancel history club. Oh, and I'm in detention all week. Principal Reynolds needs me to cover, so... Kind of counting on the tutoring. He loves it, though, doesn't he? He's going to say, all come right. in then, come on, we'll have a go. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. in the library. And you bring the coffee. See him. I mean, it's interesting that she's actually still involved in his story. You know what I mean? Like, is she not technically Claire's kid? No, no, it's not Claire's, is it? It's Russo's. Where is she? I was thinking there, Claire. Where's she? Do you know what I mean? I would like to see her kind of in this this little reality thing as well because what are the odds that she'd be in LA when she's French? You know what I mean? I would have thought that she'd be back in Paris or do you know in Bordeaux or something. Do you know? So that's interesting, but he does seem to really care about his job. You know what I mean? Like he's there offering early tutor sessions. Mate, people need more like that in school. And do you know what? If I had a kid, right, and they grew up to be a teacher and like he, he was saying, oh, this isn't the life really that well. I'd be well proud of my kid if they grew up to be a teacher. I think it's a great job. How long are we going to stay here? I need to find my husband. Trust me, if anyone wants to find him, it's me. Because your last name is Quan, and I don't know whether I'm supposed to protect you, him, or both of you. You're candidates to replace Jacob. If you're the one selected, I imagine you'll find out. How many are there? There are only six left. Take the temple by nightfall. You know, maybe we should take our time. <laughs> I'm leaving early. You coming or not? I'm actually trying to think of the names now that was actually on that rock. Jax could have been there. Temple's that way. Where did you come from? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. And if you want to go to the temple, it's this one. To be honest, I trust Richard. He's actually not been that bad. Richard's not been bad, him personal self, throughout the whole show. Oceanic. Remember that plane breaking in half like it was yesterday? You know, I was supposed to be flying it. I overslept. Imagine how different my life would be had that alarm gone off. The island still got you in the end, didn't it? <laughs> Walk. Stop. On the ground, face down. He's just gonna tie him up. She hasn't got uh, the coverage or whatever it is to hit someone cold blooded. Look, if this is about what Miles said, I... pick it up. Did I like, dig your own grave? What? A grave. You murdered Jacob. It's for you. The East India Trading Company's power extended to all of India except. I don't know. It's okay, it's okay. How am I gonna pay for college, let alone Yale? You're one of the brightest students I've ever had. I don't worry about your future at all. What can I do to help? I'll write you a great letter of recommendation. I'll... No, I need someone who went there. The only one I know is that pervert, Principal Reynolds. Do I realize if I tell you, will you promise to keep it between us? Of course I promise. So I was in the nurse's office a few months ago. I guess you forgot I was in there. They were... Ah, mm. oh, mm. right. Were they give kids hearing tests? I mean, Dr. Linus, you're not going to say something, are you? No, no. Well, shall we return to the high seas? She's getting too close to it. I feel like she's too close to him. I thought like like she was gonna try and do something. Do you know what I mean? Like that's what I thought. You know when she went to his house and then I was thinking, ah, I should know where he where he lives. You know what I mean? I I didn't know any teacher's name and like, where they lived and all that. And then just going around to him there. I don't, I don't know, man. Like I mean, it's not really it's not really perving, is it? Like I won't class that as perving. I mean, if it's a teacher and a teacher, I mean they're not shouldn't be doing it in school, like. But I thought she was gonna say something about him doing touching or making comments in relation to a student or something because then that's his out but maybe it's his way of getting him out anyway you know what i mean doing something unnecessary around the you know the the school environment but again 
I've got to say, the American edu education system is so much harder than the UK education system. I'm not even kidding. Like, I shit you not, mate, honestly. Like, it is, I don't know anything about, say, geography and history and stuff like that. We didn't even teach it. You know, religion, again, I never got taught it. Like, I, I couldn't tell you anything about any of those subjects. N not even when, like, a key war started. And I know my, it's just me being, what was it, lazy, not searching it up, but it don't benefit my what i do do you know what i mean so there's no reason for me to go back but what i mean is like i seen in here i think in one of the charts in the dharma office right it was like to get an a star a pupil had to get 98 out of 100 to get an a star in one of their tests i think it said that one of the sides when it was on the cupboard i'm pretty sure in the uk you can get like 85 out of 100 and get an a star you know what i mean i think that the american system is so much harder not exactly tearing it up on the digging front, are you? Do you remember once you asked me for $3.2 million? Do you still want it? I can get off this island. And when I do, I have a vast network of people and resources that will get you that money. Why would I need your money when there are a couple of jabonis under there buried alive with $8 million in diamonds on top of them? Elon's gonna murder me. Killing Jacob, a man who didn't even care about being killed. Right up until the second the knife went through his heart. He was hoping he was wrong about you. I'm not saying he deserved to die, but he didn't respect Ben at all. You're not time traveling? No. Wait, <laughs> you look the same as you did 30 years ago. Not easy to explain. Oh, uh, it's a black pool. That's what it was called. I've been trying to figure out what that was actually called. I thought you said we were going to the temple, dude. I lied. Because everyone at the temple is dead. What about our friends? Saeed, Kate? They, they weren't there. I mean, maybe they made it out alive. But... <laughs> Where are you going? It's something I need to do. You're pretty good with computers, aren't you? Could you? Access someone's email account without their knowledge. Say a faculty account. Nurse Conrad. I have reason to believe that she might be engaged in an inappropriate personal relationship with Principal Reynolds. You're going after the big job, aren't you? I want lots of aprons, and I want some lab equipment in here that was built in this decade. Is that a deal? I feel like he'd do stuff for the school anyway. Loves it, doesn't he? Oh, really had me fooled with that sweater vest. Minus, you're a real killer. <laughs> <laughs> a savage killer that's what he is mate hey do you reckon them three was the ones chained up richard jacob and uh lock and all the time that i've spent on this island today's first time i've ever come back he's just picking that dynamite up like no no dramas do not open that there's dynamite in there it's mega unstable he's opening up a crate of dynamite and he said he wanted to kill himself i can't kill myself jacob touched me and when jacob touches you well considered a gift it's not a gift at all it's a curse i devoted my life in service of a man who told me that everything was happening for a reason when the time was right that he'd share it with me and now that man's gone why do i want to die because i just found out my entire life had no purpose it made the fuse long enough so you have time to get out that's interesting it actually is you know jackie is gonna die or what i don't know let's talk <laughs> The thing is, though, right, he said that when Jacob touches you, it's considered a, a gift, but it's actually a curse. But we know, we do know that all of them was touched. Well, to be fair, maybe, uh, do you reckon they're the names that was... Uh, do you know the names that was in the cave when Sawyer was there, when he was going around, right? That woman, Lana, just said there were six of them. That was candidates. But I can't remember the six... I, I can't remember Jack's name being said on it. So, like, the only names I can remember is Ford, obviously Sawyer, we had Locke, we had Reyes, we had Quan, so that was, that's them. Um, it, was he somebody else as well? Oh, uh, Jarak, like, those are five names that I can remember that was there. Nah, I cannot remember the six. Like, was it Austin? You know, because that means Kate's one. I don't think it was Claire. I, I'm, I don't think it was Shepard. You know what I mean? Like, who else is actually, like, a... a like a big enough character to actually take one of them spots. I'm, do you know what I mean? I can't really think of that name. Um, but it is interesting here because clearly, you know, he's uh, he's upset. He's reactionary again, though. You know what I mean? He's kind of like Jack. He, something's happened. I mean, I get that he's trying to say that his whole life's not had a purpose, but he's kind of just learned that Hugo can speak to, to Jacob. And technically, I would be like, look, mate, how'd you contact him? What did he say? Next time he makes an appearance, I want to talk to him. You could both be there. You know, you can relay it through the third parties and ask him questions. If he's still got that purpose, it could still be done. You know what I mean? But in a different way. So, again, that's really interesting. Dude, we got to go. Guy's crazy, and I know crazy. <laughs> Early, go ahead. We'll be all right. When you change your mind, I'll be like a mile away. Actually, I don't think either one of us is going to die. I just came from a lighthouse. 
where my name was etched in wood on a dial that somehow reflected the image of the house that I grew up in. For some reason, he wanted me to know that he had been watching me ever since I was a kid. But I'm willing to bet you that if Jacob went to that trouble, that he brought me to this island for a reason, and it's not to blow up sitting here with you right now. Oh, he didn't even actually put it out. He just done it itself. I want to try another stick. Kind of makes you think that Jack's a new, the new Jacob because he's kind of getting his own little following going the way Locke's kind of getting his, you know what I mean? And they're going to come back here to the beach with everybody else. What are you doing here? Visiting. What are you doing? I'm digging my own grave. I don't want you to die, Ben. In fact, I went back to the statue to get you, but you'd already gone. Someone's going to need to be in charge of the island. I can't think of a better man for the job. <laughs> he loves the island. He loves his job in the other world, you know what I mean? Come to the other island. 200 yards inland, there's a tree in a clearing with a rifle leaning up against it. If you go now, you'll get there first, and you'll have the drop on her. <laughs> oh, he could have just waited until she wasn't kind of looking. It's kind of like making his play from both times now. Going for the gun, going in there. Those are 30 emails that cover a three-month period. Pretty lascivious stuff. Which would be fine if it was private, but they seem to describe acts that took place on school property. What do you want? Your job. You're going to resign, but with your resignation, you're going to recommend that the school board hire me as your replacement. Dear Principal Reynolds, I would appreciate it if you could write a letter of recommendation to Yale on my behalf. It's a funny thing about recommendations, Linus. They work both ways. You can execute your little Machiavellian maneuvers, go for my job, sit at my desk. There will be an unfortunate side effect. I will torch Miss Rousseau and her future. What'll it be? Told you I'd counter it again and say, now you've just revealed that information as part of the deal. Yeah, he's sending that email. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you don't send that email, then this is getting published. I'd literally just flip it and say, if you don't send that email, this is getting shown to everybody. And then another way I could do it is, yeah, we've got a deal, send the email. And then he sends the email, and I'm like, psych, get resigning now, mate. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't... To be fair, he, he loves it that much. Do you know what I mean? Like, he loves his job. He loves the island. I feel like he's obviously not going to take the principal job here, and he's going to publish Russo. I get that letter sent. Do you know what I mean? Because he really does, like, care for what he's doing. Drop it. Put the gun down. I say give it to me and walk away. I want to explain. I watched my daughter Alex die in front of me, and it was my fault. I had a chance to save her, but I chose the island. I sacrificed everything for him, and he didn't even care. Yeah, I stabbed him. I was, I was terrified that I was about to lose the only thing that had ever mattered to me, my power. Sorry that I killed Jacob. I do not expect you to forgive me. Let me leave. Where will you go? To Locke, because he's the only one that'll have me. I'll have you. Yo, he's got, he's got like a, a choice now to make, hasn't he? Really? I'd go to Locke though because he said he'd give me the island. And it could be false promises, but I don't know. It's what he's truly wanted before. Oh, I wonder if just being accepted is what he wants. I was just coming by to thank Principal Reynolds. He wrote me the most incredible letter of recommendation. Wow, wonderful. Just dropping off the detention sign-up sheet for the week. I knew that he'd pick her over the oh, job. I see you at History Club. You mean when it's back on? Oh no, we've got our old slot back. Oh, it's good that he'd done the right thing there, though, isn't it? He chose somebody else's kind of happiness over himself. That's why he'd be a teacher, though, isn't it? To see somebody's hard work pay off. <laughs> the thing is, she'll have him, but will everybody else? Do you need a hand? You've helped me with the tarp. I reckon, like, he's never been accepted anywhere. Do you know what I mean? He's never felt his real true worth. Yes, Miles. Yes, Miles. You know, what a waste getting thrown in there. Oh, it'd be good if there was a hand shook. Oh, a lock watching, maybe? Oh, look at this. Should we stop? Who's in charge? Oh, we know. He's finally back on the island. This is really interesting, really, if you think about Ben, because the story kind of played similar factor to the island, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Like, the one of him being a teacher was somebody who actually really totally cared for their job. 
and like obviously he wanted to make a play for being the person in charge and if you think about on the island here it was like you know he's absolutely loved this island for so long and again he had a kind of a chance to you know make a play to be again another person who's in total charge and he didn't really take it didn't he so if we go back to the story that obviously it was in the alternate world he was there and Alex was there, but he wasn't his daughter. She was a pupil and she really needed this letter of recommendation so that she could actually get into college. And he had his chance to go in and blackmail the teacher, but basically he was given an ultimatum. It was kind of, you know, it's like, look, you can blackmail me and take my job, but she's never actually getting in. Or you can forget this ever happened and I'll write the best re letter of recommendation you'll ever find and she'll be able to get into wherever she wants. And he chose personally in that position the right thing to do it actually really was and it shows that he actually really does care for his job but now if you flick here onto the island you know he had that same kind of proposal to him but he didn't really have to do anything or screw anyone over i know Locke said basically run into the woods grab the gun and take the shot on her first but he could have also pulled the gun explained himself said kick me your weapon you go back to your camp leave me be i'm gonna venture out and be on my own do you know what i mean i'm not gonna be a harm to you i'm just gonna go he could have met up with them onto the island you know on the other one uh, did he say he was meeting at a hydro station not too sure can't remember where they said he was going and then obviously took his position potentially as person in charge but now it seemed like after having that conversation and revealing himself obviously to her basically it just seems like he's never really been in a place a position where people really truly wanted him so obviously he was born and his dad really didn't really like him that much and he was in the dharma initiative and he didn't really feel his place did he then he was on the island and he was doing everything for jacob and then when he was speaking to him he's kind of lost everything and i've got to say jacob right the way he's speaking to, to Ben and the way he actually shows... Like, I personally think that Jacob is... Um, what is the actual word that I'm trying to say? Like, he's dead ignorant. And that's how I would say it. Like, his personality, I don't like it. Like, I, he's not a person that comes across as a nice man. Like, I know that he might be. But, like, Richard's followed him for so long, never really got any conversations with him, didn't really know what his purpose is. You know what I mean? Like, Jacob, he, he you know, didn't really care that when... Ben was in front of him, laying his heart out on the line, saying how much he sacrificed, how he lost his daughter. He's showed him no respect. And, like, there's nothing that I've technically seen of Jacob that makes me think, yeah, I really like him. I kind of like this man in black better than Jacob, but maybe it's because he's housing the Locke body and Locke's really a decent actor and he makes a character really, really well. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, I've not really been Jacob's biggest fan and... Um, we also learned today, obviously, touching people, like Richard was saying, you know, touching him, feel blessed, but really it's a curse, etc. Again, that was interesting with Jack and the Dynamite. We'll see where that one goes, but he had the chance to obviously leave with luck to potentially be the person who's leading the island, and then he's not took it. He's gone back with them, kind of slowly being accepted that Widmore's arriving, and obviously he's going to cause chaos in there honestly he's going to cause chaos when he does actually arrive okay that's going to wrap up today's episode thanks so much for checking out the channel today hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you've not yet voted for your most liked uh characters throughout the whole entire franchise please do take 30 seconds and your results will mind be shown in the final episode of this season thanks so much in advance you know interesting stuff with Moore's obviously returning to the island he's been trying to find it for so long maybe he's spoken to eloise maybe she told him where the you know the shift in the patterns was going to be he's here in his submarine do you know what i mean he's spying he's seen him on the beach he pretty much knows everybody that's there as well hasn't he he's got really good resources i'm not too sure what he's trying to get from the island if i'm being totally honest like i know that he's been trying to get to the island for so long you know what i mean like he was bidding wasn't he on the black pearl diary or something when it was up for sale at auction he's also you know been here in the backstory been in charge been banished you know he's trying to return um he's finally actually made it it's going to be interesting to see what he does when he gets here maybe you know he is kind of annoying really i think he came in second place last season in the most disliked and maybe now well we've got technically 10 episodes to watch this is episode 7 but obviously if you do 8 9 and go all the way to 17 or maybe 18 actually maybe we've got 11 episodes left um there's a high chance that he could be running and rocking that most disliked character if he is in it as much as uh, he could potentially be so it's going to be um, fascinating to see him and Ben obviously back here on the island. Ben's kind of in his natural habitat. Maybe he gets one up on him if they try and fight each other. I don't really know. You know, Jack and um, what is it now? Richard sat down. They was having a conversation. I was surprised that Richard didn't stop the spark, to be honest. You know, he was willing to kill himself and we was told that they can't actually kill themselves. Somebody's got to do it for them. 
Now, we've seen, obviously, Ben take out Jacob. The Obviously, Lot couldn't take him out. And uh, he was saying that he wanted to die, basically. He was reacting, basically, by saying that all this stuff that he's done for his life has got no purpose now that Jacob's gone. Jack's lit the fuse. It's going down there. Jack's done a good counter by saying, look, mate, you know, Jacob took me in early to a lighthouse. I see my name. I was flicking through. We seen the glass. I see my house. He, he wanted me to know that I was being watched. And there's no chance that I would have been on the island, off the island, back to the island, took into that lighthouse, seen that if he just wanted me to die here as well with you, with this dynamite. So I'm confident in myself that I'm going to stay alive. And if you want to light it, I'll light it. We'll see how it goes. And I thought, that this new information that was going to get given to Richard basically off Jack would have been enough for Richard to like hold it and pause it and would say, look, mate, let's look into this further. Let's see what it is. Maybe my purpose, you know what I mean? It's still ongoing. But no, Richard left it as well. It went all the way to the end and basically it stopped. So that's pretty exciting, honestly. And like I said, the names on the caves, I can't remember seeing Jack's on there. I can remember five names and I can't remember the six. But we was told by, is it Lana? She was saying to, um, to Sun, that Quan, it's one of the names, and there's only six left, but she doesn't know which one of the two it is. And also, I've got to say, Miles has gone, and he's took one of the diamonds. I've got to say, fair play to him. It's absolute waste it, being into the floor. You know what I mean? If somebody told me, factually, like, over there, under that tree, there's somebody dead, but I can guarantee you that is £8 million uh, pound worth of diamonds. I, I don't care what, you know, is it underneath that. I'm digging it up, mate. I'm getting that £8 million quid worth of diamond. I just am. So, you know, he's been on the island for so long... Technically, wouldn't it be interesting if he dug it, he changed, could it go back there? You know what I mean? Basically, he could have dig it up, take the eight, eight, eight mil, and then, like, if the island shifted and he went back maybe, like, two years, would it be there again? He could dig it up and get another one. That would be, that'd be quite fascinating. It's like beating the system. But, yeah, I like how Miles has done that, you know. Um, I'm not too sure how that's going to play into it as well. Maybe it's because Ben mentioned the money again, you know. Uh, he was like, yeah, I told you we could get this money, do you know what I mean? Cut me free and I can uh, get these powerful people outside the island. He also said that he could get them off the island as well, I believe Ben just said, but he didn't really disclose how that's going to happen. But Widmore's here now and obviously he's got his own intentions. Let's find out what it is. I'm excited for it. Can't wait for the next episode. Thanks for checking out today's. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.